Colburn Bible, Book 3, Scrolls, Chapter 24, A Hymn of Prayer from the Book of Songs, Part 6, SCL 24-1. I believe in you, great God of life, Lord of the kingdom of light, dweller in the eternal silences from the center of your domain. There is an outflowing which sustains all life, and in you rest the hopes of all men. SCL 24-2. You are the ruler of all spheres, and your dominion is unchallengeable. Under your benevolent guidance, earth continues to exist, and hold together, changing for naught. But the benefit of man, we are your children, and you are our father. SCL 24-3 I believe in the sacred spirit of inspiration, which enters the hearts of men, flowing out from you and joined with you, and yet separate, the spirit to whom our fathers of old gave the greatest reverence, the beautiful one, the gentle one, the inspirational one, who first taught men to love and who drew aside the veil to show them beauty. SCL 24.4 I believe in the great kingdom beyond earth, where in the place of light, the souls of men, if worthy, find a perfection not known here, the light which is in the region beyond the veil is not as earthly light. It has a sustaining quality. It is a vitalizing light, indescribable in earthly words. SCL 24.5 O great dweller in the vast silences, which are not as the silence known on earth, who attends this sacred place where men gather in devotion, we who are here see you revealed as a beacon light. For those whose hearts dwell in the darkness of ignorance, we rejoice in the strengthening emanation, which flows out towards those with the wisdom to attract and absorb it. SCL 24-6 Here, in the hidden place, we, your servants, are gathered and we bow before you. O Great One, we bow in humility, not in servility. We bow in recognition of our earthly limitations. We are overcome with awe and can but stand in worshipful silence before the vision of your glory. It shines before our eyes and our mouths cannot open. SCL 24-7 Here on this sacred ground we hardly dare to utter the words of prayer for the sentences formed by men are so unworthy of their purpose when used and spoken before you. Man is limited in knowledge in understanding and in ability. It is the recognition of this which makes him humble. SCL 24-8 O Great One, who understands even the speech of the dumb man, help us to expand our knowledge and understanding. We, for our part, will not remain inactive, but will ever sincerely struggle to reach out towards you, striving even to extend beyond our limitations. Were it otherwise, we would be dishonest in seeking your help. SCL 24-9 Help us to remove the disfiguring stains upon our everlasting spirit, and when earthly life is renewed in us, let us not be too disadvantaged. Teach us to pray without prayerfulness, so that the taint of self-seeking is eliminated. When we petition, let this not be in the spirit of selfishness.